Hey, hello everyone. Happy Saturday. I hope you're all doing well. Hello, hello. I'm gonna give, take my glasses off here because it seems to catch a little bit of a glare. Um, so if you are brand new here, my name's Kelly Weiler and this is Girl Upcycled and this is an hour live, fresh paint live with me here in the studio. So welcome. Hope you have time to hang out and uh, watch and maybe if you feel like it, you could give this a try yourself. So this is a place where I kind of show you step by step what I'm doing here, um, making things in the studio. So I'm kind of taking you along on the journey. I have been doing a 30 day marathon challenge and I need to look. I know I'm getting close. Hi Dale, how are you? Hello Becky from Arizona. So glad to see you. Thank you guys so much. Um, all of you on YouTube that I've been meeting, you guys have been awesome. I love hearing from you and learning about who you are. Um, I've heard stories of things that you have tried from watching the videos and that just makes my heart sing. So first of all, a great big applause apology because I did not make it at two o'clock and I am officially open here in my studio now um, to the public. So my hours are from 12 to 6 p.m. Wednesday through Saturday. So I'm going to have to work in my lives either before I start up my day or at six o'clock when I close. So um, it turns out it's when I close today. So let's see um, what we're going to do today. And I do have some paints already pre-mixed that was left over from the last time that I did a fabric painting um, project it was on. Hi. Hi, Kathy from St. Louis. Um, I'm trying to remember what project it was. But anyway, I have it already mixed up. I have um, the liquid patina already mixed up in it, which is right here. So I have liquid patina mixed up inside my paint. So you want to do like about three, maybe four parts liquid patina to one part-ish of color. You can play around with it. There's really no magic ratio. Um, the, the paint that I use, which is DIY paint, is very highly pigmented. So it will keep its strength even when you dilute it. Okay, so it's, it's kind of wonderful that way. So say hello when you come in, especially if you're brand new. Um, today's project, we're going to work on some more hats. Um, I'm at least going to get one done. Um, when you buy these, it's kind of cool. Um, there is a little cardboard thingy in there, support for it that holds it up. And I'm going to keep that in there while I paint, and it'll keep it kind of upright for me. Um, but that's what we're going to paint, and I love, this is my favorite style. This is the um, the ponytail hat or the messy bun hat. So you can pull your messy bun or ponytail right through here. Hello, Joe and Jennifer. So nice to see you coming through. Um, so let's get started. I've got my paints uh, mixed up here. I have, um, let's see, I don't have coral. I have, so I need to mix that one up. Um, but I do have fire starter. It looks like I have some liquid sunshine. This is all from the DIY paint. Um, I have cake batter, which is a real soft, beautiful yellow. Hello from North Carolina. We have friends in Zanesville. Who are your friends? Maybe I know them because it's just a little town. But I will tell you what, it's beautiful today. The sun is shining and people are out everywhere. It's wonderful. It's wonderful to see everybody back out enjoying everything again. So the restaurant next to me has been completely um, just busy all day with their outdoor patio. They have a really nice outdoor space um, over at Muddy Misers and it's right on the river. So they have the beautiful, um, life on the river that they can look at and just it's just always nice and peaceful when you're on the river you know so it's been a lot of fun i've been able to talk with quite a few people today so it's been kind of nice all right so 
Let me go ahead and get some coral mixed up before I get started because I know I'm going to want some coral. Um, what I do, um, if I have leftover, which I probably will, I just stick it in this baggie and it keeps it good until I do another project. Okay. I am going to be changing where I do my lives as far as I'm going to move it in the on another wall so that I can get better lighting, possibly. I'm gonna to try to do that next week. Hi, Miss Christine, how are you? So this is my liquid patina, and I've been doing quite a bit of fabric painting. So I know you all have been watching me do this. So just remember, you wanna have more patina than you do your color. Um, let's see, a whole group of folks belonging to the Blind Pigs Horseshoe Club. I've never heard of that, which is weird because it's a small town. So <laughs> I don't know. All right. So there's that. Let's get a little bit of coral. I'm getting low on my coral. This is cowgirl coral. This ready. And you can play around with it. Like I said, it's not a magic ratio. If you get too much paint in it, that's fine. It's not going to be a big deal. But the um, patina is just going to help it um, be a little more flexible and it will set really well when you're working with the fabrics. I'm just gonna mix this up real good and then we're gonna go for it. Now I wanna do some abstract floral, floral ishy kind of stuff. So I'm thinking similar to what was on the armoire that I did, the big armoire, beautiful faded out flowers. I don't know how it's gonna work on this, but we're just gonna find out. So hang out with me and I guess, Guide me along if I'm doing it wrong, right? So, um, let's see, I've got my prairie gray on there. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start with a little bit of water. I'm gonna spritz this down just a smidgen. Just gonna wet it down. And basically, I just treat it just like it is canvas, pretty much. Okay, I'm trying to remember all the exact colors that I use. I'm, I'm looking at it over there. Um, and I think I'm just going to jump right in. And I may switch because I may need a little more. Yeah, I need something that has a little more liquid in it which my brush will have, so. There we go. Do some little fun abstracty kind of stuff. Have it swooping down, if that is a thing. <laughs> I hope y'all are enjoying all the lives. I'm trying to decide if I'm going to go up over my challenge, if I'm going to go beyond. Um, I guess it just depends because, uh, like I said, I am open now. And so um, I don't have as much free time in here, if that makes sense. So we'll, we'll see. We shall see. So I'm just going to kind of put... these on here and just kind of get a little feel for how I want to do this. Something about the coral with the turquoise color, it's just so, so pretty. I might be able to do both of the hats today. I'm not sure. Depends on. 
I'm trying to keep it within an hour's time. And I don't know why, you guys, it's so dark on the screen. So let me see if I can got my light on. Let me move my light real quick. See if it helps. And I'll make it brighter maybe. See if that helped a little bit. Maybe a little bit because maybe not so good. Maybe we don't want to see me today. So I'm going to go ahead and wet my brush back down a little bit. And let's do here. I, like I said, I want it more abstract and maybe even a little drippy in places. I am planning on selling all of these items during the next flash sale, which I don't have scheduled yet, but I will, I will let you all know when that happens. Of course, if you're local, you can come in and get it. Y'all come for Memorial Day. Um, yeah, the sun, yeah, exactly, Murray. Yep, that's exactly what's happening. So I'm gonna try to move my, the location next week of where I um, do my recording and uh, see if I can, if I can find something a little bit better. It, it just, it changes. Like if I, it depends on the time of day. So the light changes around here. So, and I'm trying to hide the junk. Like if I let you see too much, it's just going to be, I don't want to scare anyone. I'm going to scare y'all off. It can be scary. You know how creatives are. So I'm just kind of smooshing, I'm smooshing it around, guys. Okay, I know it just looks like kind of splatters and blobs right now. So if you start and you're making your flowers kind of with splatters and blobs, then you are doing the exact right thing, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of prairie gray next and let me see this is going to be a little faded it's going to kind of give it a smoky smoky kind of look i think it'll be kind of elegant do you guys remember the amour that i painted That would be all the colors. Just love it. So I'm just basically pushing the paint around just like I would on if it was on canvas. I use prairie gray a lot. And what is so pretty about this hat, the back end of it is kind of very much like the prairie gray color. So it's going to pull the colors together pretty well. Are y'all doing anything tonight? It's Saturday night. Are y'all going out to pick up dinner or do anything like that? sure what we're doing. A feeling we'll just be at home. 
my husband's on a mission and getting all kinds of stuff done around the house and we're getting ready to redo our our um, patio our front patio so we got a lot of landscaping we need to pull up and move and all that good stuff hope you all can see You guys can give this a try. So it's already, it's kind of looking very impressionistic already. Good afternoon, Miss Patricia. Christine says she is painting cards and she likes the combo. Thank you, thank you. Um, let's do some maybe over here too. Let's just change it up a little bit. I am just really looking forward to maybe hanging out by a campfire tonight. We have had so much rain um, in the past week that everybody's just like running around outside because, you know, just because they're so happy to see the sun. That's good. Wait a minute. That's good. You're open for business now. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I probably actually could have um, legitimately opened up, was it Thursday? Wait a minute, what day is this? I don't even know. Saturday. So I probably could have opened up like Monday or something like that, Monday or Tuesday, but it was just, I was on my new schedule, you know, and so there are so it's kind of wasn't really prepared for that. So I've really been working through the whole time just online. So it's we're so lucky to have that option. Still connect with people and all that good stuff. Oh, this is going to be a pretty one. Well, they're all, I love these hand painted hats anyway. I need to make myself one because I wear hats so much. Really need to make myself some. Yeah, it's just booming out there. So happy for my neighbors. Boy, it's really popping, huh? So if you have missed any of the videos and I am running them all over on my YouTube channel, so you can find them all there. They're a little bit easier to find over there. I think. I didn't even tell you what brush I was using. This is a number 12, I believe. Um, this is just a really, really cheap brush. I get these in by bulk and I use these for my classes. But you can see how it gets a nice point on it. So you can even get away with a, you know, a decent 
just a cheapy brush too sometimes. I mean, it may not last very long, but um, yeah, it's good. At least for this, because I'm just kind of barely touching in. Okay, let's see. bit of that yellow. Let's do a little yellow in there. So we'll touch. Now the Amour, I did a lot of it by hand, smushing it around. So I'm using a little more brush with this one just to have a little, a little more control because it's a little smaller. Sometimes the bigger ones are a little bit easier, the bigger projects sometimes. So kind of place it in there where you want it and then you can kind of tap it around if you like. Very abstract, I'm liking it. Um, let's see, and let's do, 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 I don't have, let's just use Farm Fresh since that's what I have mixed up. I was gonna use, oh, maybe I'll use, let's just use a little bit of, I don't have it mixed up with the textile medium though, but let's go ahead and do it. And just mix it with a lot of water. This is bum, 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 mint chip. So let's see, I'm gonna make some kind of like. And that might be a little too light. Okay, I'm going back to Farm Fresh. So just completely forget what I just said, you guys, completely. <laughs> Just never mind. Yeah. Might look good blend. Actually, it does. It looks good blended. So, farm fresh in there. Just to give the illusion that there are some leaf material. This is all we're doing. A little touch here and there. I got really used to coming live there at two. I that was a that was a nice time slot for me. But we'll have to figure it out, won't we, guys? Okay, and do some, this would be very gray and work that in just to darken it up a little bit, the leaves that I just put in. Oh, that's really cool. So it almost looks like, it kind of almost looks like it could be kind of some paint splatters, but yet it, I think it definitely looks like some abstract flowers. I make you laugh. What did I say? Don't know how you can talk and focus at the same time. Maybe I'm not focused. Maybe that's why I'm making you laugh because I don't know what I said. Uh, hi, Judith. How are you? <laughs> I feel like I'm more awake at two in the afternoon than now it's like it's 630 now. So, you know, because I've worked the whole day and I was on book work and um, you know, the sales tax thing and blah, 
in that. Okay, continue with the yellow. I'm glad I'm entertaining you though, that is good. Somebody gets my humor. If you can see, it's still drying, but it's really cool. I like it. I like it, like it, like it. Um, should I try a little brighter yellow or just going to try a little smidge and see what happens? Ooh. Yeah, I kind of like that. That is that it needed that. I'll show you what what it's doing here in a second. Has anybody tried? Painting their own hats yet? I want to see pictures of y'all wearing your hats that you're making. Oh, yeah, that's good. That was good. You want to try? Painted t-shirts, no hats. Okay, let me just... Okay, you can see my big mess back there, but... Um, so see the brighter yellow? Does it look like flowers to you? You posted yours today? That's awesome, Marie. Did someone buy it? Because I see the money signs. Did someone buy it? Marie, you're a very good artist, too. Love the yellow, right? Doesn't it just, it really makes it pop. This is so pretty. I don't know. I need to, maybe I'll come up a little more. Let's do a little more up here. Also, still a little more. Mistake? Wait, what? What do you mean, mistake? Are you getting a bunch of orders? What do you mean? Marie, tell me. Everybody wants it, probably. <laughs> That's probably what she means. Love these colors together. I might have to, to do another one. I am so excited about getting our our front porch done and we want to get a new swing. I've always had swings at my house and um, since we've been at this one, we haven't had many, at least mine. We've had tons of swings for the kids, but like on my house, I don't have a, like a front porch swing. So I want to get one from the front, maybe one from my back. I don't know. So I'm kind of excited. Can you see my comments? I can see that one, Christine. No, it was in a cap, my son, there in the thrift pile. I typed with one hand painting in, wait a minute. Hmm, I'm not sure what you're trying to say. Um, Christine, did I miss something, did you ask? Ask something and we missed it, maybe. Love the colors. So again, I use Prairie Gray. 
um, cowgirl coral, cake batter, and liquid sunshine along with liquid patina, okay? And it's gorgeous. Just gorgeous. Mm -hmm. I don't know that it needs much more, guys. What do you think? Maybe a few leaves. Let's see. Let's put a few leaves in, maybe. But I screwed up typing. Oh, good evening, Lisa. How are you today? Thank you for coming in it out with this. You guys now please know if you are catching this later on during the replay, please know that you can give me a shout out in the comment section and over on YouTube and I will um, be happy to answer your questions, okay? So if you can't, because I realize y'all have a life. You're not always going to be able to meet make the uh, lives. Get it. Totally get that. So anyway. So what do you think? Does it need anything else? I really like this is my favorite area. I don't know if I need to tighten. We I need to tighten it up a little bit here. Somebody was peeking in at me. That happens sometimes when the businesses are open. I feel like you can kind of feel like people are watching you and I'll turn around and look and there'll be little faces looking at me through the glass. Yeah. Like, like I'm a, a little, like I'm a monkey. It's a zoo. Less is best and it's gorgeous. Thank you. I agree with that. Where did you post your hat, Marie? Yes, where did you post your hat? Yeah. Here, I think I'm liking that better because I'm kind of. Let me just get it away from my face so I can look at it straight on. I like that. You guys, that's so pretty with that color. I have another one to do as well. Probably we're what, over a half hour in. Let's see. Should I do another one? Add a little more pigmentation on here, slightly. So I have some things uh, coming up that I hope you guys can tune in for. Um, I have a custom order I will be working on. And that's going to be pretty fun. It's going to be pretty detailed. Um, so it's going to be probably at least a three-part kind of jobby. So it's, it's a pretty big piece of furniture. Um, and then I have some lampshades that I'm going to do the IOD transfers on. So that should be pretty cool. 
The turquoise is a great backdrop for those delicate colors. I know, right? Can you do one with peonies or sunflower? You speak in my language, Christine. Sunflowers are my favorite. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. I have a half hour. Do you guys want me to continue? That's pretty. Pretty, pretty, pretty. I don't have a plan for my next one. That is the problem. Let's see. I keep seeing little tweaks that I want to make. Little tweaks. You guys can't see what I'm doing, can you? That's good. Oh, that's so pretty. So pretty. Um, sunflowers on the hat. Hmm. How could I do that? I don't want it to be like, I don't want it to be like elegant sunflowers, not like cutesy. Where's my phone? Let me pull up some sunflowers. I don't know if I can get it done in 15 minutes, ladies. I think we're at about, we're about at 6.45 right now. So I'm feeling like I should probably wait and do a sunflower at another time just that'll give me more time i don't want to just wing it and then like it'll be like wah, wah, wah. <laughs> since it's i don't know since somebody's gonna probably be wearing it but i'm super happy with this one guys super super happy so you would just want to heat set this like on, with an iron, put it on like a cotton setting and, or yeah, like a cotton setting. You're going to want to cover your artwork and then you're going to heat set it and then it should be good to go. Um, and it should be like, even if it has to be washed, it should hold up pretty well, but I love it. So this, like I said, will be up for sale unless somebody snags it sooner um, in one of my flash sales. You're probably tired. I am. That's why I said like the two o'clock slot was perfect for me because I was still like probably running on a little caffeine. <laughs> so and it's kind of, yeah, it's been a big day. So, all right. So we will plan on um, maybe some kind of a cool sunflower design on the other one at some other point. And then we'll do coming up. Like I said, I've got a furniture painting. Um, videos coming up, lamps coming up, all kinds of fun stuff. So you guys remember if you're um, enjoying learning all things art, whether it's on furniture, whether it's on canvas, um, whether it's on fabric, you're going to want to make sure that you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And after you subscribe, hit that little bell. And that way you'll get a notification every time I have a video, whether it's an edited video or a live, but it'll give you a little reminder that, Hey, there's a new video, go check it out. And if you're not into the live videos, just please know you can kind of skip through and just watch the meat of it and, um, skip the the talk. Um, so, or you can just check the edited stuff out, but thanks so much for hanging out. You guys, um, I love it. Love seeing y'all and chit chatting with y'all. Marie says I use big top and my paint, so that will set it right. I haven't used big top, um, for before. Um, so let me know how it works. Okay. Um, so I will see you guys later. Have a great weekend. All right. Bye, everyone.